Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Skyrim. I turned up the difficulty to Legendary, I'm not sure how that's going to go. We can always turn it down a little bit. We were massacring everything, I didn't even notice there was a difficulty option, so... I also think I finished up the, or fixed up the uh, voice sound problems, so... We'll uh, hopefully see how that goes. Where is my ally? There he is. There will be some silver helms coming, or yeah, whatever. Silver helms is more of a you won't get away from me. Warhammer type thing. Oh yeah, they have way more life now. No more quick easy kills for me. Sorry, Varkas, I didn't mean to hit you. On the bright side, we should level up our weapon skills a little bit faster because we'll be doing more attacks with them. Possibly. Back attacks are always good. No yielding. Freaking archers. Whoops. Start even paying attention to me, which is a terrible idea on this part. <laughs> and that's level 5. So let's think about higher difficulties, is we will kill things way slower, because things have way more life. But we'll also level up our tuned skill faster. We'll become more powerful... ...ourselves. And then inevitably we'll die. Because things will hit a lot harder as well. Oh, we need to... Fix our inventory problems again. What are we carting around the cost? Or er, weighs a bunch. Let's sort this by weight. Those el that elven bow's worth a fortune. Oh man, we're only really carrying around swords and stuff. Let's just get rid of that. We'll eat that. Eat that. Drop that. What else are we carrying that might weigh a bunch? Potions don't weigh that much. All these books. They all weigh one each. So, we'll drop everyone that's worth, like, less than 30. Except for that one, that one's cool looking. That is not a super important one. Keep the- actually, can we just put in the spell tomes? Yes, we can. And drop that, drop that, mix, drop that, drop that, and drop that. Okay, now our weight's at 298, which is still not ideal, but is slightly better than before. I mean, I guess ultimately the silver grades, or the, oh, that's my weapon. Uh, so 12 for 160 versus... A hundred for seven. Uh, I need a calculator. Which one's worth more? I think it's silver swords are worth more per pound. Alright, calculator. Here we go. This is the one part of the game that is not as fun. 100 divided by seven. That is 14.3 ish a pound. And great swords are 160 divided by 12 equals 13. So we'll drop the great swords. They are worth slightly less than normal silver swords, which is kind of unfortunate. Just like a ton of silver great swords on the ground. We can always come back and get some of them if we need to, but for now we'll just grab normal silver swords because they're worth slightly more. Silver ingots are worth a fortune. They're worth 50 for one, so they are very cost effective. What's up that way? I think I've ever been up this way. It's just an urn. Well, the potion. Potions are usually pretty cost effective as well. Those are all my books that I left there, and I think that's everything looted, right? We definitely don't need the Draugr stuff. Alright, we'll save here and we'll continue on our way. So yeah, legendary difficulty definitely ups the... ...difficulty a bunch. As you would expect. We did level up. Let's level up. We will level up our stamina this time. We can definitely use more swinging ability. 
And we get a perk, of course. We can't get too ended up anymore, but we could do more heavy armor, I suppose. Or can we? Yes, we can. Alright, we're two out of five out of that one. And this room looks like a trap. It looks like a dragger trap. We don't have a whole lot of lockpicks left, so we have to kind of... Uh, no, we have five left. We wasted so many on that master chest. Come on. I wonder what's behind this door. Another a wood or another adept lock. Oh. How lucky was that? I see, what do we got in here? Potion, take that. Ice wraith teeth are pretty worthwhile. Frost salts, also pretty worthwhile. Boned, no. What a lovely little cabinet. Alright, let's fight the ambush that is inevitably- Actually, maybe there's no ambush in here. All these cairns are empty. Looks like they were all taken out by the... Silver Hand. A skeever? Why do skeevers have so much life now? They are literally rats. Doesn't hit hard. That's why we're going to have heavy armor. Oh. Stop it. Stupid rats. Alright. We're good. Bunch of dead drugger. Actually dead drugger this time. Damn it, I didn't mean to take the book. I literally just want the gold. Oh, maybe I didn't take a book. I don't know what I took then. Linen wraps, maybe? A novice door. This one shouldn't be too bad. Not a very exciting closet, though. I guess we're going through this door. Checking our corners. There's something. Angry. Oh god, a spider. You go fight that, Farkas. What I don't want to die fight is a super powerful frostbite spider on my own. No, don't turn to me. I need an adult. I know my health is low, thank you. I need to run. Oh, I died. <laughs> Things hit way harder now, by the way. I should have just stood and drank a potion. Shouldn't try to run away. Nope. Marcus, go. This is 100% your job. Your job is to keep me alive, damn it. There we go. That went much better this time. How are you feeling, Farkas? You don't have a life bar. And again, we, don't, we aren't stuck on legendary difficulty, we just are trying it out. Draugr, but I don't see any more spiders yet. Oh god, so rest the Draugr. They actually hit it really hard. Turn around, fight Farkas. There we go.
We weren't always going to have Farkas around, so we'll have to find easier things to fight later. Until we get a little bit better at fighting. Or until we revert completely to stealth archering. As is tradition in Skyrim. That's an archer. As I recall, these guys can shoot really well. No. Watch it there, brother. Watch it. Brother. It's not my fault you stood in the way of my attacks, Farkas. Alright, what do you got for healing? We should have some healing potions. 25 whole healing. That'll help out. We may have to wait for a small amount of regen. Getting hit in this game hurts now, like a lot. Oh, it's actually dead, Draugr, okay. He wasn't sleeping in the right position to be a enemy Draugr. Oh, I'm still a dead Draugr, even though he is sleeping in the correct position to be an enemy Draugr, so is that one. Let's see what's up here. This is a long dungeon, I have to say. Oops. Let's hit R. It's easier. Alright. I think this is dungeon boss time. It's definitely dungeon boss time. Technically, we weren't supposed to come here first in terms of the story because that was a dragon word. And we haven't learned about those yet. That's okay though. We do have some enemies coming out. Do your best. You won't get away from me. Ow. What is he trying to do? Go back to his cave? Okay, we should probably heal. Don't hit Farkas. Perfect. Alright, things are going okay now. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're broken. Also, we leveled up to level 6. We'll get health, and we will grab some speech skill, I think. Or no. Lockpicking skill? Nah, we'll wait on that one. This is what I want to increase. Well, pickpocketing itself is not great. Extra pockets is super useful. But I guess we'll do speech instead. Haggling. Don't know what they were doing. We have a couple more Draugr coming out. At least two. I have the high ground. Heard more sounds. Okay, uh, we need to heal. I 
There are still three of them down here, which is weird. They're like, I don't know what's going on with them. They're just kind of chilling back here. You're making me angry. We get less cool killing blows on legendary difficulty, I might note. Crap. What else do we have to heal? We need more food. Just stir potion of normal healing, I guess. Watch it there, brother. Well, stop running in the way of my wild and inaccurate swings. Oh, that's a restless jogger. I'll just kill the normal one first. We are definitely going to need some more healing potions. Like right now. Oops, not what I meant to do. Maybe we need some restoration magic. I guess we can use our stolen healing potions. We're really running out of potions here. The rest of this one's hurt the most though. Just go down. Please die. Another Draugr? Another two Draugrs? Farkas still has lots of life, he's fine. Where's that one going? Is that it? Everything's okay now? That's where the rest of the stronger came from. We used probably too many potions there, but that's okay. We found, just found a bunch of stuff that's worth a ton of money, so we'll be able to sell all that off. And probably buy some more healing potions. I'm gonna guess that restoration is gonna be pretty important in our playthrough. All right, let's get out of here. There is a relatively easy secret way out, but we're gonna go back and grab some of those great swords. We do have some extra inventory space. Why is that door locked? Or a lever? I don't have very many lockpicks left. Well, I was just lucky. We're gonna fill up our inventory with great swords, and then we'll head back to White Run. We did complete the quest. We got the shard of the axe in question. Wolfrad, I think it is. Wolfrad. Something like that. It's a bit of a journey back to where the swords were. Ugh, spiders. Should be just in the next chamber. Where did we come in? This way. How far back did we kill those silver head? We missed a steel ingot. How are we supposed to make our sweet steel if we don't have those? The answer is probably not. I'm glad we found this sword though. There we go. There's the great swords in question. How many can we take? One, two. Where'd all the rest of them go? Oh, there they are. Where are we at? We are at. No more. That's the last one. Okay. That's all we can take. Fall damage is a thing in this game, but not from a pretty high, not until a pretty high height. You really don't have to worry about it too much. Q 
keep going the wrong way. Time to get free of this place, head back home. We should have gotten some heavy armor skill there because we got punched in the face a whole bunch of times. The way that we're going to level up our heavy armor eventually is buy a bunch of healing potions, which we'll have with our bountiful money. Oh crap, did I fall off there and now I can't get back up? There we go. Um, and then we'll just let like a skeever punch us in the face until our heavy armor goes up. Unfortunately, leveling up armor it really only happens one way, and that's by getting hit in the armor. Or we can just make dragon bone armor and then let like a bandit punch us too. Either way, we're back in this big normal chamber. We found the dragon ward. That's one of the two things we came here for. We found the other thing as well. And another potion of healing. Good. We need to replace our stock that we used all of them of. Now we just go up here. And we are out. Back into the cairn, and it's just a quick jaunt to the exit. Then we'll quick travel back to Whiterun. It's faster, easier, safer. You know, all the things. We throw the lever. Luckily there's only one lever. So we can't throw the wrong lever. And we're back at the front. Our journey has concluded through Dustman's Cairn. If we end up having to turn down the difficulty later, no big deal. But we'll keep it on legendary for now. Alright. Back we go. What do you mean, can't fast travel? Who's my enemy? Alright. Oh yeah, we don't have a torch still. Damn it. I'm seeing any enemies? There's no blips on my map. Let's try this again. Yes, I would like to fast travel to Whiterun. Thank you. Arcus was my enemy. Briefly. I like all the times I punched him in the face. Alright, let's go turn the axe in, and then what are we going to do? Sell things. What time is it? It is 7 in the morning, which means by the time we return the axe, and come back out, we can sell some things at the store, and call it a video. They say Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. I ain't done nothing. Hi, Farkas. You beat me back here. We've been awaiting or Vilkas. They look the same. Why were you waiting for me? Come, follow me. Where, where are you sending me? To the back. Apparently. Oh, we're being accepted into the companions. Sweet. Hello. Brothers and sisters of the circle, today we welcome a new soul to our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the song of triumph as our mead hall reveled in his stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Let it beat with ours, that the mountains may echo, and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall be so. so. Come to me with well, questions. Well, boy, you're I one of us. I trust you won't disappoint. Except I can remember it. Vilkas and Farkas look almost identical, words. other than their hair. It really threw me off. And if you want to keep having ears, you'll pretend you didn't. Is it not allowed? All right. It's not exactly forbidden. Time to go sell some things. So that's that. Uh, 
Oh no, the blacksmith isn't here yet. The ream effects are causing a little bit of a frame rate drop. Just a little bit. Maybe like 45 FPS? Hmm. That might be worrisome later on. We'll see how that pans out. Avoid Brittle Shin Pass to the southwest. Let's go to the general store. Hey, there you are. Got a lot of steel to shape. I sold you a weapon for me. Yes, lad. You've been raised into the companions, I hear. I can fashion whatever kind of weapon you want. Finest forge in Skyrim, right here before you. I would like a war axe. Now that's a smart weapon. Light, strong, useful. Crack some skulls for me. <laughs> Skyforge Steel War Axe. I mean, we already have a great sword, so. It's worth 80 bucks. We'll sell it off. Ah, Isolde was it? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have. Everything's for some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Oops. There we go. Okay, what has he got? He's got 700 bucks. Let's sell some stuff to him. You can buy that and that and that. Unfortunately, we're just going to slowly gain our talking skill by selling things. It's not really the most. Awesome way of learning, but whatever. Okay, now we need to look at his stuff. What has he got? We need healing potions. I'll buy both of them. Do you have a torch yet? Of course not. Okay, what else do I have to sell you? I have some swords to sell you and a staff. You don't have money for the staff, so take that staff and that axe. That's my sword. Just three. There we go, he's basically out of money. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> That's terrible, dude. I wouldn't sell my... Well, maybe. Depends how much they're worth, I guess. Let's go see the other blacksmith and see what she will sell. Come to chat or buy us. Woman, hmm? Buy from us. Do your good deed for the day. I don't claim to be looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Sure. Both. Ooh, we can get an Orcish Axe. That is actually a pretty nice weapon. It's considerably better than ours by... I don't know, about... Eh... Uh, 18% upgrade or so? 17 maybe? I'll take it. Do you have any Orcish Armor? I don't suppose so, eh? No, okay. Orc Heavy Armor is pretty good. Alright, well, in response to that, we'll sell our... Oh, wait, our Skyforge Steel Grip Sword is better than the other one. What are we wearing, then? Why is it showing... Hmm. Weird. Alright, I guess we'll sell the sword, then. Because the Great Sword's better by three damage. Unfortunate. I thought we had a better sword than that. What does it say? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. What are we wearing? We're wearing that sword. I don't know why it says damage plus ten. There we go. Whatever was going on is now fixed. Let's see if Happy there's night, anything better inside the store. Sometimes he has different things. What is that sound? Welcome to War Maiden. Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? Yes. 
He's got an Orcish Greatsword too. No different armor or anything like that though. Will you buy my sweet staff of staffiness? You will not. All right. Good doing business with you. We should probably purchase a house at some point here soon, so that we can uh, store junk in there for later. This one is for sale. We can buy Breeze home. It's the cheapest one in the game, and it's the easiest one to get. A few seconds for my supper is all I ask. Fear not. Come dragon or tender rack of ribs. But we're at half an hour, so I think I might call it here. In the next video, we'll go by Breeze home, and we will head off and do the one main story quest, and then we'll continue on with some side quests and we need some just random exploration. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'll see you next time. Take care.